Welcome back, friends. We are so excited to welcome our radio hosts with the most, Kevin and Chris from 98.7 The Dove. Good morning, Kevin and Chris. How are you? How you doing? Hey, uh, we're doing good. We're so close to the weekend. I'm starting to get a little excited about it, you guys. I know, I know. Well, so typically you guys are on, you know, the show Friday, but uh, yes. Chris Luzader, are you going on vacation or something? Is that why? Uh, just one day. She's always on vacation. Just one day. <laughs> Always on vacation. Wouldn't you take a vacation day if this was here? You know, I, mean, I can't blame you, but Kevin, I do like your shirt, so I'll give you that. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's the second summer. I'm just ready for it. Surfing, <laughs> hey, whatever. seriously. We've been talking about it all, all show. It is yeah. the second summer. But, okay, Chris, let's get to your movie news real quick before okay. we get to debate topics. There's two biggies out this weekend, or, I mean, not biggies for me, but there's two movies out this weekend. Venom Last Dance. Uh, Tom Hardy, he is back. Juno Tempo stars. And uh, in this, Eddie and Venom are on the run. Juno Tempo's from uh, Ted Lasso. Yeah. Yes, and um, I'm not a huge fan of the Venoms, and I'm never a fan of when Tom Hardy doesn't look hot. So there's that. <laughs> Agree. And so I really do hope it's the last dance. Uh, also out is Conclave. This is a big drama. Um, a cardinal is tasked with leading one of the world's most secretive and ancient events, selecting the new pope. Oh, wow. I mean, listen to this cast. Ray Fiennes, Stanley Tucci, who I never see enough of, and John Lithgow. So they are all the stars. So big, big drama. Wow. But I do want to tell you what I think are the two best things on screens right now, okay? Um, Saturday night, yeah. and then also We Live in Time. Both of the, like, Saturday night is so great. It's so fast and furious. And We Live in Time is a heartbreakingly wonderful drama. Mm. Ooh, okay. So, Chris, I have been wanting to see Saturday night. Yes. But then is the, the second one, I already forgot the title. That's the one we with live Andrew, in time. We live in time. That's with Andrew Garfield and Florence yes. Pugh. Mm. They're very different. And, yeah. but if you even like Saturday night live or the history of, cause I do, it's so good. Yeah. Okay. I believe it. I need to see. Okay. Really quick though, with we live in time, I'm curious, what do you think of the partnership or the pairing of Andrew and Florence on screen together? Cause I've heard good things. But I'm curious what you think. Yes, I wondered about it. And then um, they were both, well, Florence Pugh does no wrong for me. I agree. I love her in every single thing. And Andrew Garfield, I'm like, yeah. It looks but very sad. He was so good. He was so, I was so proud of him. Kevin, it I'm with like you. looks like a sad tearjerker. It's yeah. happy sad. Okay. It's happy sad. Well, speaking of happy sad, so we have a question of the day. Um, yes. Because it is National Bologna Day. And I am a huge fan of B-O-L-O-G-N-A. Are you? B-O-L-O-G-N-A. -O -O yes. So here's my question for you guys to kick off our little debate. Yes. Know, yay or nay on bologna? Oh, a capital Y-A. Uh, how, do you, how do you spell yes? Y-A-Y. 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 It's the vacation. But uh, bologna is the perfect uh, meat. And I'll tell you, you, if you make it like Snoop Dogg, I was just reading a, uh, a recipe, you, you fry, uh, several, three pieces of bologna, not one or two, three pieces. You fry them up real good, and then you uh, you put your bread on there. But before you uh, you smash it down, you put some barbecue chips on top, oh. and, and, and then some mustard, and then you smash it down. I'm telling you, you'll never go Ooh, back. I feel like yeah. I got to recreate this. Okay, Chris, what do you think? Because I'm an absolute unequivocal. Oh gosh. Man. However, here we I go. Am Eat meat, and that is not considered meat in any way, <laughs> shape, or form. It's main meat. However, <laughs> there is a large existence of bologna in my refrigerator for one Don Luzader. Yeah, there's oh. a large existence of bologna in this studio right now. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, well, Chris, I'm glad that we're on the same page at least because Maddie and Kevin oh. have each other. I don't really care for bologna either. Like, I just think about it and I just like kind of shake a little, you know? I'm like, no, you know it what? Is like, 
What is it? Here's the yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. Don't ask questions, first and foremost. Yeah. Second, when it's you... It's like a flat hot dog. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. What, you don't Which know even sounds either. worse. When Ew. the zombie apocalypse does take over and no one's eating the bologna, Kevin, Don Luzader, and myself will all be thriving and aliving. Well, maybe okay. I'll be okay. dead before then. It won't matter. Do you know that Kevin and Maddie are definitely going to be ready for said zombie apocalypse? Let's go. Thank you. Yeah. Kevin has things in his cabinet I got, just waiting for this. I got a can of pork and beans that expired in 2014, just in case. Oh, <laughs> my God. Okay, now yeah. I might have to say no to that. Yeah. So mm -mm. 2014 <laughs> is what you're dealing with when it comes to, like, the oldest thing in your cabinet. Yeah. Oh, Yeah, I, I think. I hope. Yeah, I don't know. I, sure. I, fingers but, crossed, yeah. right? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay, Chris, yeah. what about you? We got 30 seconds. I have nothing old in my cabinet except honey, which I found out this week lasts forever. Oh, oh good. It's got to be nat it's got to be natural honey. Yes. Yeah, otherwise, oh. it gets all weird. And it gets crystallized. Yeah. 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 Well, and they tell you to buy local honey anyway instead of yeah. yes. stuff from the store because it's better for your immune system. Yeah. So right. I found I've heard that. I found a jar of fudge in my grandparents' um, uh, cabinet. This was like 2000s. It was from 1980. What? Yeah. <laughs> Was it so good? I, I, hey, grand, well, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Grandma is saving it for that special occasion. There you she go. Saving right. it for the apocalypse. Yeah, Everyone's the apocalypse. preparing for the end. Yes. How yeah. dark this has become. Okay, we got Kevin. Fudge. Hey, we got fudge, bologna sandwiches, and pork and beans from 2014. What else do we need? And now I'm going to yak break. in the commercial break. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin and Chris. We love you guys. Good to Have see you. Day. All right.